Join Kids Hat Family. Hey, Tia. You know my friend Jim, who is a year senior in school? Yes, I do. I think he's been very bossy these days. Really? What happened? Well, he thinks that our maths teacher will give us a surprise test towards the end of the month. Why does he think so? Because she gave his class a surprise test too around the same time of the year. Okay, so what's the problem? It's a surprise test, dear. How can he know when she will give it? And he keeps telling me to study for it. Well, he's advising you from his experience. Let me tell you a story to help you understand. The Musical Donkey Once upon a time, a potter had a donkey. The potter was very poor, so he didn't have enough to feed the donkey. Hence, the donkey was very thin. One night, the donkey was hungry even after his dinner. So he wandered in search of food and reached a nearby field and ate the crops. This went on for a few nights. Till one night, he met a jackal. Hello there. Hello. Is the crop here any good? Yes, it is. Besides, it is a lot more than what my owner gives me. So I can't complain. Would you like to have some cucumbers? Yes, yes. I would love to. I love cool juicy cucumbers. Okay, come. Follow me then, my friend. The jackal took the donkey to a nearby field that had cucumbers growing in it. And they both ate their tummy full. From that night, the donkey and the jackal met every night and enjoyed the delicious cucumbers in the field. One night, after a hearty meal, the donkey said he wanted to sing. I feel like singing tonight. No, 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 my friend. You must not sing. But the donkey ignored the jackal's wise advice and started singing. Hearing a donkey bray in the field alerted the farmers. They came rushing to the field with their sticks. The wise jackal knew what would happen next and jumped over the fence for his safety. But the donkey kept singing till the farmers found him. Once they did, they beat him up and chased him out of there. So you see Tofu, sometimes a wise advice is not to be ignored. Otherwise you will get chased out of a field or fail a maths test. <laughs> yes Tofu, you are right. I think I owe Jim an apology and need to start studying. I agree. Hi 
Hi, Tofu. Who was that? That is Lily. She is my new friend. She has an aquarium in her house and her brother has the latest robots collection and I want to see it. So I told her that I love fish and she invited me home to play with her. Since when do you like fish, Tofu? I don't. They creep me out. I just said it to her so that she would be friends with me and let me see her brother's robot collection. You're the donkey with the lion skin. What kind of donkey is that, dear? The Donkey in the Lion's Skin One day, a donkey found a lion's skin. Oh, look at that! It's the lion's skin! Let me put it on. He put it on and looked at his reflection in the river. Wow! I look just like a lion. No one can say that it is me. I must take advantage of this. The donkey wore the skin and marched into the village. Obviously, seeing a lion in the village, the villagers got scared and started running helter-skelter. They left their stores and kiosks open. The women dropped baskets full of hay and fruits on the road, grabbed their children and locked themselves indoors. This is so much fun! The villagers have left their food and belongings out here in the open for me to feast on. The donkey ate as much as he wanted to. Grabbed his loot and went back into the jungle. few days, he relaxed and enjoyed what he had brought from the village. When his supply ran out, wearing the lion skin, he walked into the village once again. The villagers once again ran at the sight of the lion. The donkey gathered his loot. This went on for many days. Every time he was successful, the donkey's confidence grew. We must do something about this line. What can we do? Let us follow him and see where he goes. And so the villagers decided to follow what they thought was the lion.
The donkey was particularly happy that day after plundering the village. Still wearing the lion skin, he went straight to the wheat fields and started singing loudly. The villagers who were behind him recognized his braying. It is not a lion. It is a donkey braying in a lion skin. I say we teach him a lesson. The villagers caught hold of the donkey and beat him mercilessly. So you see, Tofu, it is not enough to pretend to be what you are. One must genuinely be what they say they are. Otherwise, their true nature will start showing and people will recognize their lie. I agree with you, Tia. I will go and tell Lily the truth. What in the world are you trying to do? I am trying to pluck those juicy fruits from this tree. <laughs> but do you think you will be able to pluck them? They are so high. Oh, I wish I could fly and pluck those fruits. I so wish I had wings. To wish is not bad. But one should be conscious about the consequences. Come, I'll tell you a story. The Tortoise and the Eagle A young tortoise was lazing around the riverbank, looking at the birds flying in the sky. He stared at them and started thinking out aloud. I wish I could fly like those birds. Up high in the sky, I'll watch the beautiful sceneries and beauty of the world from top of the world. Oh, I so wish that. Nearby, an eagle was sitting on a stone, listening to what the tortoise was thinking out loud and couldn't resist but ask. Why do you want to fly? You should be happy with what you are gifted with. I wish I could fly with no trouble of crawling on the ground. So say that you want to fly because you don't want to crawl, not because you wish to see the world from the sky. Anyway, what will I get in return for making you fly in the sky? I'll give you the riches of gold from the Red Sea. So the eagle grabbed the tortoise in its claws and soared up high in the sky, making him see all the beautiful sceneries of the world. Flying higher in the clouds and closer to the stars, it was indeed a mesmerizing moment for the tortoise. While the eagle was flying over the riverbank, the rest of the tortoise were basking in the sun. Suddenly, the tortoise flying high up in the sky said, I wish my friends could watch me flying so high in the sky. 
I am sure they would get jealous watching me. What? Why would you want your friends to get jealous of you? I want them to see that I can fly and they cannot. It's such a nice feeling. What an evil friend this tortoise is, thought the eagle. With this, the eagle dropped him on the ground and asked for his treasure. Now give me my reward. <laughs> there is no reward. I was just kidding about the gold, so that you could take me for a ride. And with this, the tortoise left. The eagle couldn't tolerate his insult and decided to teach him a lesson. So the next day, the eagle went to the tortoise and said, Hey, would you like to go for a sky ride again? Yes, sure! I would love to! The eagle once again picked him up and clenched him in his claws. The tortoise, while enjoying the ride, said to the eagle, Why did you bring me again for the ride, even though I dishonoured my promise of rewarding you? That's because, tortoise, you wish to make your friends jealous, but at my cost. And now I'll let you enjoy the free fall. The eagle let his claws loose and the tortoise went falling down. Screaming for help and flying no longer, he crashed on the ground with a thud. Thanks to his shell, he didn't get injured. Soon, his old friends surrounded him and said, Hey, our young friend, you wanted to see the world from high up in the sky. To dream big is not a sin, but to dream it at the cost of others is just not justifiable. I have learnt my lesson now. I should be thankful to God for what I am blessed with. It was my shell only that saved my life. I should be happy with what I have and also should not use others for my selfish reasons. I surely have learnt my lesson. Tia, now I know what you were trying to say. I learnt a lesson too. One should think about the consequences before one wishes for something. I should be happy with what I am blessed with. I should rather look for an alternative to pluck those fruits. Wait, I'll get a ladder! <laughs> Tofu, you learn things quite fast. Tofu, were you eating those cookies that mum had asked you to have only after dinner? No, Tia, I wasn't. I just came in the kitchen to drink water. Tofu, do you know something? A lie is not fruitful. How, Tia? Come, I have a moral to teach you today. The Boy Who Cried Wolf Once upon a time, there lived a shepherd boy who took care of the sheep in the village. He was very dedicated to his work. Every day, he used to take the herd of sheep to the top of the hill and bring them down by evening. But one day, he felt really bored. I am feeling so bored. All the villagers work together 
But here I am, all alone, taking care of the sheep and no one else to talk to. What should I do? Suddenly, he had an idea, a wicked one. He went over the edge of the hill and started shouting. Help! Help! There is a wolf! He is going to eat all our sheep! Help! Hearing the boy cry out for help, all the villagers came to the top of the hill to save the sheep. But reaching there, all they could see were calm sheep grazing the grassland. You silly boy, where is the wolf? Why did you cry out for help? The villagers were very angry and left the place cursing the shepherd boy. <laughs> this was so much fun! Next day, the shepherd boy was back again to the routine of taking the sheep for grazing. And yet again, he found himself completely bored. Let's try that prank again! <laughs> the boy again went to the hilltop and started shouting. Help! Help! There is a wolf! He's gonna eat all our sheep! Help! Once again, the villagers, after hearing the boy cry out for help, ran to save the sheep. But once again came back after being fooled by the boy. This is not right. You would have to pay for this one day. With no regrets on his face, the shepherd boy went back to his sheep. One day, when he was lying under the tree while his sheep were grazing, he saw some sheep running here and there. After looking closely, he saw a wolf approaching the herd. The boy suddenly ran to the edge of the hill and started screaming for help. Help! Help! There is a wolf for real this time! He is going to eat all our sheep! Help! Please help! This time, the villagers didn't pay any heed to the boy screaming. Let's leave him. This time too he might be playing a prank on us. The boy kept on crying for help but no one turned up this time. All he could do was stand there and watch his sheep getting killed by the wolf. Oh, I should have not played that prank with the villagers. Nobody believed me when the wolf actually turned up. What should I do now? I have lost all my sheep. The shepherd boy was never trusted ever by anyone. I am sorry, Tia. I did lie about those cookies and now I learnt a lesson too. Liars are not believed even when they speak the truth. I won't ever lie again. Good Tofu, you are a good boy. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.